Hi, my name is Bo Burgess, and today I'm going to take a few minutes to talk with you about how I ballast my MTH rail tracks. I'm holding a standard piece of MTH rail tracks. You'll notice the nickel silver rails <clears throat> and then the black ties and gray ballast are molded as one piece of ABS plastic. This is a good, reliable track system, but I believe you can take some time and improve upon it by ballasting the roadbed. What I have now is a piece of uh, straight MTH rail tracks that I've prepped for ballasting. After masking the center rail, because I like to keep that, uh, that uh, blackened rail, uh, it's just a personal preference, I spray the, the assembly with Rust-Oleum flap around. After the paint is dried, I remove the masking off the center rail and take a moment to shine up the rails using a foam medium grit sanding block. Once that's completed, I use Elmer's glue all to apply in a brush to apply the, the glue everywhere that I want my ballast to, to, to be adhered to. I use a relatively small brush dip it in some glue all and then just go about placing the glue where I want it to be ballast. Then I work it about, right now I'm doing it between the rails, I start between the rails just work it about trying to avoid getting glue on the ties. Once I do that, I'm ready to apply some ballast. What I'm using is some uh, Brennan's Better Ballast. It's a natural gray stone. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's got the size and the, uh, the color that I like for my mainline trackage. So now I'm going to go ahead now, I've got my glue down, I'm going to apply some uh, ballast. And there we go. Once I've, once I've done the entire center between the rails, I then come along and I ballast the, along the sides. I'm going to do a little bit of that right now. It's the same principle. You just want to try to avoid getting uh, the uh, Elmer's glue all on the ties if you, if you can. You can use a little lighter brush along the sides once you've got between the ties. And once you've and once you've done that all the way along, you're ready to apply some more ballast.
Shake it off. And you just keep on going until you have your piece of uh, rail tracks uh, completely ballasted. Here's a completed ballasted piece of uh, MTH rail tracks. I think you can already tell how much better uh, it appears. The final step is to apply some scenic cement to further ensure that the ballast remains in place. I start by applying some isopropyl rubbing alcohol, lightly spraying it on the, on the piece of track. Before that dries, I then apply some of Woodland Scenics, Scenics cement, diluted three parts scenic cement to one part water just to help it go a, a little further. Now I just simply set this piece aside to dry. This is a MTH rail track switch that has been uh, that has been painted with the Rust-Oleum uh, flat brown. I just want to note that I uh, before painting I uh, masked off the the center the center rails. I also masked off where the switch motor is attached to the to the switch assembly because I didn't want uh, paint to get on the contacts. Here is a completely ballasted MTH real track switch. You'll notice I've reinstalled the uh, switch motor. The switch motor co cover was uh, also painted this Rust-Oleum flat brown to match the switch. I wanted to point out that when I'm ballasting my switches I do not ballast underneath the switch points. I think that's a critical point. As important as uh, trying to improve the appearance of our, of our track is I don't want to jeopardize the reliability of the switch. Therefore, I stop ballasting at the very last ties here and only ballast this little bit here between the rails. From this point to this point remain unballasted. And while I'd like to have ballast there, I am too concerned that it would interfere with the reliability of the switch's operation. Therefore, I don't ballast between between these two between my, my two hands here. I do not ballast underneath the switch points. Also, wanted to note that I don't ballast where the electrical leads coming up from the bench work are attached to the, the switch itself. Finally, I'd like to show you a piece of MTH rail tracks that I've ballasted for use on a siding. I like for my sidings to look a little less well maintained in comparison to my main line. In order to do that, I use a little different ballast. In this case, I used Woodland Scenics medium ballast gray blend. Once I apply that, I sprinkle on some ground cover. Again, this is this is Brennan's natural ground cover, Earth. It's a very fine uh, ground cover uh, that I think looks good. Then lastly, I apply some of Many nature grass tufts. You can see the little grass tufts 
here in between here in between the rails and a few outside the rails as well. Once I've done that, I then apply the isopropyl rubbing alcohol and the uh, the uh, diluted uh, scenic cement, just as I did with, with or do with any of my uh, real real tracks. Uh, track that I'm ballasting. I hope you've, in, uh, you've enjoyed this, uh, this video and that it will prove helpful to you.